What's going on, Soul Tribe? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot specialist <laughs> and spiritual guide for the next few minutes or so. You're going to be jumping into your love messages for today. As per usual on this channel, like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're going to be using the Ethereal Visions Tarot deck today to pull in your love messages. Let's see if we can contact your person. Highest messages of love and light, please and thank you, Spirit Team. Let's see, for our watchers today, what do we need to know in regards to love, romance, and matters of the heart? Who's currently trying to connect with them at this time? What's the direction of this connection? What's the offer? your message today is the justice card okay so this is what's grounding the message and being drawn to the owl your person may be a shaman or they like birds maybe they have a pet bird justice is also libra air sign energy so you could be a libra watching this or you can have major um or you can have air sign placements majorly aspected in your chart Maybe dealing with a court case or legal matters at this time. And just this energy typically tends to be like networking and relationships, truth and justice. Your first card, the sun card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was educating somebody on the history of justice and uh, the strength card in the tarot yesterday. <laughs> How the numerology used to be different. They switched. But the sun is uh, great happiness and joy. It's illumination. Mm -hmm. Wish fulfillment. A yes card in the tarot. It could also be great creativity. Whether, you know, some actual sort of a creative gift or something like that. Or something that someone manifested. Or indeed a child. That is, it is the greatest creation of them all. Maybe dealing with a Leo or someone that likes to be the center of attention or they have a strong presence. Definitely, yeah. The morning star twice. Actually, the morning star three times. Justice, the Libra, morning star, Venus. <laughs> the morning star, the sun, the soul, or the sun again. <laughs> and then Lucifer, morning star with the devil card. So, yeah, you may be dealing with a celebrity or someone that has extremely, um, they're extremely talented here. <clears throat> not obsessive they worked hard to achieve their gifts or whatever talents right say for instance instance if it's law you know you have to practice law or um learn law for a lot of years until you uh, i guess take the bar test or the bar exam that's being obsessive that's hard working even the sun card here yeah it just makes me think of someone i guess someone's supposed to be important here this person that's coming towards you they may be an entrepreneur or a business owner. What else we got? Yeah, the king of wands, some sort of a leader. Maybe a motivational artist or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An adventurer, possibly an actor, an athlete, a fighter, some sort of an entertainer. They can be a content creator as well. Very creative individual, very magnetic and attractive. Sexually mature as well. Could even be someone that likes to work out, or if this is a feminine, they're into makeup, that sort of thing. Just the overall um, things that make you more attractive and more successful. We have the King of Swords, so two kings, divine masculine energy showing up here. The sun is divine masculine energy. Mm. Okay, so I see some sort of a correlation here. Mm hmm with divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Yeah, okay. The Page of Pentacles. So there is an offer coming towards you. Mm -hmm. This could be a monetary gift. Mm -hmm. 
This could also be some sort of a support as well. The Page of Pentacles is a student. So you may have a new student coming towards you. If you have like online courses or something like that, this could be someone signing up to your courses. Mm -hmm. Unless this is a teacher that's coming towards you or someone that you're working with and getting a collaboration. Let's clarify the Sun card. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, collaboration, equal give and take. Some sort of a work project half and half or going 50 50 with someone but this is hope and grace volunteer work that sort of thing charity mm -hmm. patronage coming right after the page of pentacles yeah there's some sort of a payment coming towards you or a gift the seven of wands a defensive posture being grounded and uh yeah defensive basically guarded protected mm. This may go further than just regular protection. This person may be protected by magic or protected by their money. Like a Donald Trump type situation or individual. The Four of Swords is resting and relaxation, right? A pause, right? Reflecting and recovery. Could also be sleep as well as sex. Mm -hmm. With the King of Wands and the Four of Swords, yeah, this person is sexually attractive. Or they're sexually attractive to you <laughs> that's coming towards you. The King of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. This is walking away type of energy or detachment. It looks like this person is, in this particular Eight of Cups, it looks like this person is yearning for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if they're watching the moon or the top of that mountain, but that's indicative of the distance between uh, them and their desires here. Let's clarify the page of pentacles. The four of wands. So they're wanting to offer you a home or some sort of a stability, a partnership, maybe even marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, grounded connection basically. All right, the last row here. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, new beginnings. Could be new creative endeavors, right? A burst of passion. Mm -hmm. Right. This could even be journeying, like traveling or adventuring, or just some sort of a new inspiration. Now the King of Wands is here, which means that King of Wands. <laughs> Is king of wands in right now. <laughs> so you're dealing with a magician or a powerful manifester. Mm -hmm. Very ambitious individual. Very energetic. A naturalist. They may be into plant medicine as well. Seven of wands and the devil card. The queen of wands shows up. So this is your person. Yeah, a karmic contract. Yeah, I was actually getting that. Mm -hmm. So you basically have the King and Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands <laughs> showing up, right? The Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. So yeah, very powerful connection here with two powerful manifestors. You also have the Devil card here, which is a karmic contract, right? It's a session. And the sun card, joy. So yeah, a happy marriage or something like that. Um, a commitment, maybe children again. Mm. What else is here? The ace of cups. Yeah, new love, an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Expansion of the heart chakra, even clairvoyant gifts activating, especially with this being two um, divine counterparts of the same suit. King and Queen of Wands, again, highly magnetic, very attractive. Mm -hmm. So the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. New love and new passion. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then we have the Deer Farm, yeah. Traditionalism. This could be a spiritual or religious connection, right? There's something um, deeply devout about it as well. 
It could be the fact that maybe you guys are traditionalist. But this is also Taurus energy, very hard working, right? Could be a teacher. So one of you guys may be a teacher. You have the student here with the Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And deeper commitments here. So again, marriage. Or maybe, um, again, deeply devout to one's religion, right? It's a preacher or a pastor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting. The Hierophant, the Devil, that's Taurus and Capricorn, the Sun, Leo, Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands is here, along with the Four of Swords. Yeah, this person is extremely, they want to get it on with you. This person wants to, um... Yeah, that whole thing. They want to appropriate with you. Let's see. What else is here? Remember, justice is at the bottom, indicating relationships and networking. 11-11 on the timer. Marriage as well. Mm -hmm. So the devil and justice. And the here of fathers. This person definitely wants a 3D life with you. A grounded connection from the spiritual four of wands. Yep. And the sun card indicates happiness or creations. Maybe you guys are going to be working on something, whether it's business or something like that, or some sort of a great creative project. But it could be a child. advanced child so that's going to resonate for some of you guys that haven't had children yet with with this person you guys is dna high vibrational dna is going to create a high vibrational child welcome to the new school the children of the atom is what they would call it in the x-men <laughs> what's the break deck message spirit highest messages of love and light Please and thank you. What do you need to know in regards to love and romance and the matters of the heart? All right. What's the break deck message? The lovers in death. Yeah, there's a transformation in, in your love life that's about to get ready to happen. So I guess whether you're single or in a relationship, there's definitely a change is coming here. Now, I don't know. For some of you guys, this may be an ending, a death cycle, possibly an ending to a relationship in order to bring something new in, right? Make sure you detox yourself, right? But yeah, with the lovers here, that's a soulmate energy. Gemini and Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Two very powerful signs. Very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Very, they're like sapiosexuals, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but some sort of a deep change or transformation, perhaps on one's perspective or the way they see things, maybe in regards to relationships, like opposites attracting or whatever the case may be. Don't judge a book by its cover or something like that. Yeah, because I had a, well, yeah, you can check the last reading that I uploaded. There was this lady that kept walking back and forth behind me as I was doing a reading. Come to find out... <laughs> I ended up talking to this lady for almost an hour after that reading. And uh, yeah, she's like, you were talking about me. <laughs> so yeah, from Africa, uh, but here in America, visiting her children. And yeah, she wanted to tell me her whole life story. I mean, us as healers, people are just attracted to, to us. But she was another healer. And you know, I'm a healer of healers, basically. So yeah, exchange information. We may hang out sometime. But uh, I don't really think she's here for a long time. <laughs> and she started talking raunchy. And I was like, yep, <laughs> this is exactly why I can't make friends. <laughs> Everybody wants to freak me. <laughs> All right, one more break deck message. I don't just put anything in my mouth. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Eight of Wands and Temperance. Holy crap. Someone wants to mix fluids with you, your person. Mm -hmm. Your twin flame, 
What better twin flames than the king and queen of flames with your little wand mm -hmm. manifesting the life that you have. So both of you guys are manifesting the life that you want. Four of wands, ace of cups, ace of wands, mm -hmm. a new journey, a new adventure, a new love to be inspired mm -hmm. or to be inspirational. Sagittarius here with temperance, earth angel activity, right? Shining a light. Patience and balance or teaching that to people around you or you just kept carry that sort of aura. It's spiritual healing, right? Even her, she couldn't resist talking to me. <laughs> Literally sat behind me. <laughs> See, women do stuff like that. I didn't even know this lady was just sitting behind me <laughs> for 20 minutes, right? <laughs> yeah. And the Eight of Wands, it's rapid communication, right? It's fast travel even, right? If you, there's a clairvoyant or psychic connection between you and your person, which there is, <laughs> because you're the king and queen of the same suit. And the soulmate card uh, showed up in the lovers. Yeah, you guys are emotionally attached to each other. So there can definitely be uh, psychic messages being passed back and forth. And there's definitely a wanting of mixing the fluids, right? Two people becoming one. Sex, magic, karma sutra, right? Mm -hmm. The caduceus. As I always say, why do you think women always want to be in a man's chest? Because that's where they came from. And why do you always think men <laughs> want to get back to their birthplace? <laughs> well, I'll let you come up with your own answer to that one. <laughs> Teacher can't give you every answer, right? Got to make you think. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Catch you guys on the next one. Ooh royalty strong dna yeah you guys are supposed to be mixing fluids to create some sort of a you guys have an important pur purpose but your child right after we leave what's going to happen after we leave your your child is going to be a leader after you leave mm -hmm. the leader of the jungle right mm -hmm. an alchemist right a specialist should i say mm -hmm. and yeah like the video subscribe to the channel catch you guys on the next one peace